Good evening po sa lahat. What you're about to hear and see is the result of what has taken place in May 21st, 2015, where I just fully obeyed the Lord and um, it has resulted to something that I cannot imagine in my life. And um, it is a journey na kasama ko rin po yung iba. Um, I think you know who you are and I don't have to mention your names. But then I want to thank God for each of you, for your obedience in the Lord, for the things that you have done, hindi pa para sa akin, but for the nation, sa bansang Pilipinas po. And with this, you will see videos of the things that accomplished, and that we give God the glory for all of this. Thank you. You are, you're the light in this darkness, you're the hope to the hopeless. You're the peace to the restless You are There is no one like our God There is no one like our God But greater things have yet to come And greater things are still to be done You're the God of this city, you're the King of this people, you're the Lord of this nation, you are, you're the light in this darkness, you're the hope to the hopeless, you're the peace to the restless, you are, there is no The World Bank and its sister organization, the International Monetary Fund, are very special organizations. They are sitting on top of the world's wealth, which was put into a secret account, and it has more gold than anybody knows about. And it is cloaked in secrecy. The bankers do not own that money. It's held in benefit for humanity. World Bank and the IMF are listed on a special agreement that was signed in 1950 about that. A assets, it's gold. It's more gold than people know about. It's over a million metric tons of gold. And uh, the World Bank and the IMF have a special role to play making sure that that money is spent to the benefit of humanity. So where's the gold? A lot of people, some people believe that the gold in Fort Knox has disappeared. Um, that's been in question for many years. Congressmen have attempted to get an audit of the gold in Fort Knox. Um, so a million metric tons of gold is not something you can just hide. Where would you say that that gold is being stored? 
400,000 metric tons are in the Central Bank of the Philippines. There's over 200,000 metric tons in Union Bank of Switzerland. And some of that gold is buried securely in the Philippines as well. Some of it is held in various banks, but the bulk of it is in the Philippines. So the World Bank holds the note on that gold? No. It is in a special trust account that was set up by Ferdinand Marcos and the authorized signatory is a German banker lawyer by the name of Wolfgang Strzok, who also lives in the Philippines. So how do, how do the people get the gold back? If, if it's their gold and it was taken by the bankers, how do we receive it? That is, that is the question. And they're just sitting there illegally and refusing to relinquish it. Part of the problem is that it's, this gold is cloaked in secrecy. But in the last month, uh, Wolfgang Strzok has been publishing all of the documentation. So it's there for people to see. We have the originals. And people just have to make sure that the banks do what they're required to do, which is release the world's wealth. Goodness of God. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna sing.